My name's Roman and this is my bus. Welcome to the virtual tour. I hope you enjoy. All right, here she is. 2000 GMC Bluebird that the only previous owner is the County of Sacramento Department of Probation Transport. And they had it for all of its 20 year life, kept it serviced, tuned up, and they only put 24,000 miles on it, 25, I put a thousand. So it's got 26,000 miles original with a zero in front of it on the odometer. Uh, it was converted to run on propane from the factory from mile one. And I think it's got an Allison transmission. It drives really smooth, handles really well. Short wheelbase turns on a dime. Perfect size for two people, not too long, not too short. Um, the tires still have 80% tread and they're not cracking. They are in pretty good shape. And it's got dualies on the back. Okay, so now let's take a look at the back end of the bus. I'll show you the storage. I call it the garage. Um, and here it is. All right, here we go. Look at that back, back end right there. Beautiful. So we've got a window right here um, that opens. Get a nice breeze. That's where your bed's going. Uh, so here's the garage door and it's got a nice lock latch on it. It works great. It's also got a lock right here that is that works and the keys come with it. Uh, give it open. And this compartment is huge. You can access it from the side door as well. Um, I have it locked right now, but yeah, I mean, you could, you could put a bed in here, um, or build it out and have, I was where I was going to put the hot water heater and all this stuff, uh, outdoor gear. So this garage is a nice bonus. All right, while I'm here, I wanted to show you under the bus. Um, like I said, this is a 2000 Bluebird and it runs on propane, so you can see the exhaust, the propane exhaust here. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit. There's virtually no rust. I mean, it was in Oregon for a little while, but uh, about a couple months before I got it. And for its entire life, it was in Sacramento. So it wasn't by the ocean or anything like that. Um, so let's have a look at the, the chassis. Got the mud flaps right there, pristine condition. The frame, frame still painted black. Uh, here's the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe, it looks really new. So the County of Sacramento kept this serviced um, and they did a really good job at making sure it stayed in good shape. They really, you know, 26,000 miles, they didn't even really drive it that much. Just a thousand miles per year. Um, there's so much space under here. Like here, you could fit a 150 gallon water tank uh, just in this spot alone. Down to the side, on the outside, take a look at the compartments. There's a battery compartment and two very large storage compartments. So here's the battery compartment up by the nose and then the two storage compartments. And Pretty, uh, pretty simple. The batteries are in great shape. Just charged them up. Uh, it starts right up. I'll show you that. Even got space here for some other electrical components. It's got a basic pin and slide. Ugh. Yeah, I can't do it one-handed, but <laughs> you pull this out, the tray slides. Pretty handy. Take a look at the side storage. It is absolutely massive. It's even bigger than the back garage. Um, you could fit a lot in here. I mean, your solar bank, all that stuff, tools, extra storage, Buku storage. For how big this is, um, the bus is 33 foot bumper to bumper. And it's a mid-sized bus. Um, so for being how midsize it is, 
sure does have a lot of storage. And they just hang up here, come back down. close now there is a they do need some new gaskets um, there's a, a little leakage going in there so the gaskets need to be replaced but the back garage is totally fine the gaskets are great there's no leaks back there there's absolutely no leaks inside um, the bus I deleted a couple windows and I'll show you what that looks like here I used stainless steel and riveted the panels uh, and then used a marine adhesive polyurethane sealant around all the edges. And that also will sand when you prep to go to paint it and it'll look really clean. Uh, and the walls are insulated on the inside. I'll show you all of that as well. All right, so I'm also including the panels and all the hardware, screws, nuts, bolts, brackets um, that I saved during the demolition process. And then all uh, an additional fi about $500 worth of hardware that I purchased um, and some caulkings and things like that to keep going with the build. So there's that in the storage compartment. All right, here's a look at the front end of the bus. And now I'm gonna pop the hood and show you what's under there. All right, let's take a look. So I love how you can kind of get in the engine on these dog nose buses. It makes it really easy to work on and get in there and do anything. Um, so here we have a 454 Chevy engine, big block, came from the factory manufactured to run on propane. Uh, custom made for the county of Sacramento and we've got the coil packs on there the belts are everything is I mean I can't think of one thing it needs I've never had a problem with it like I said 26,000 miles this thing is barely broken in um, everything's in really good condition the radiator and uh I don't really know propane conversions too well. I haven't altered anything. I can't really tell you a lot about it, except uh, it's the cleanest burning combustible fuel, as far as I understand. And the inside of the engine will always be steam cleaned, essentially. Um, makes the engines last a lot longer. I wouldn't be surprised if this big block saw half a million miles easily if it was maintained. A lot of life left in this engine. All right, so here's the entrance. As you can see, I tinted the windows. They're reflectix on, reflective on the outside. And block off some UVs. Looks pretty clean. Well, let's have a take, take a look inside. So the door works really well. There's actually a lock that locks uh, the front door right here. And the key comes with it. It works great. All right, now let's get this bad boy fired up. Cloud, you gonna fire it up? <laughs> well, here's the cockpit area. We've got the original dashboard. I haven't modified, disconnected, or changed any of the original wiring. Everything still works, including the lights, which I kept, the original housings, and everything is tucked in the wall right here. Um, so you can still use those. Um, all right, check this out. 26,108.5 with a zero in front of it. That's why she's a gym. LP fuel only. Uh, we're going to start it up and I'll show you how quiet it is. There's uh, the rest of the components gear shift all right so it was already warmed up uh, propane engines cold start a little bit but they always go turn over they just have to get the propane down the line 
Um, but when it's warmed up or you've driven it recently, it just starts right up. And um, got a healthy dashboard. But there's the access panel to the transmission right there. And just listen how quiet. Even if I open this. Super quiet. I guess these are how many, oh, that's the degrees for the transmission, I believe. Uh, oh, this is interesting. How many hours the engine has been running? 1,586 hours. That's it. She's not even broken in yet. Original seat, pretty comfy with an armrest. And that's about it for the cockpit area. Um, got the shade and the wind uh, mirror that came with it. No cracks in the windshield. I just spent hours and hours scrubbing them, all the water stain off of them and getting them polished and brand new again so you can see through them really well. Um, can't tell you how many hours I spent doing that. <laughs> but yeah, that's the cockpit. So one thing I forgot to mention is that um, despite popular belief of propane being a dangerous fuel, it's actually the safest fuel, or well, at least safer than uh, gasoline. And the reason why is because it has a higher flash point. So it takes a much higher temperature for an explosion to occur. And also, um, the way at least this system operates is uh, the propane is taken down the line and compressed as the engine is on. So the only pressurized storage is in the fuel tank, which is wrapped in this giant cage that is pretty insane. I'll show you that. All right, so there's the fuel up inlet. The key locks it. Uh, and this has the same inlet that gas stations have you can fill up at any gas station um, truck stop or anywhere like that it's pretty easy to fuel up and with propane prices being cheaper than gasoline it's a really good alternative so here is the cage that contains the 78.625 gallon propane tank um, here we go so this cage protects it so there even if it gets in an accident, uh, it will absorb any shock upon impact and um, pretty beefy, well-designed cage. It gets about, on average, five to eight miles per gallon. And the tank costs, well, in current prices, a couple hundred bucks to fill up and it'll get you three or 400 miles down the road pretty good not too bad for a big old bus let's have a look before I show you the inside I'm just gonna say I poured my heart and soul out into this bus <laughs> and I'm um, getting rid of it for personal reasons my partner who I got it with ended up pursuing their dreams in another place and I didn't want to build it by myself I, try, I did for a while, but I'm realizing that I just want to move on, and um, yeah, so I hope it goes to a new, awesome, appreciative owner, uh, and I'll show you what I've done so far. And I am a professional builder, I know a lot of people who build buses just DIY, figure it out as they go, and it turns out great. A lot of people do some really awesome work, um, not toot my own horn, but you know, I get paid to frame and build wood uh, for my clients. So uh, let's have a look. So first you'll notice I framed the ceiling and I screwed in uh, some fur strips uh, according to the contour um, with some good steel to wood screws and they are very solid in there, ready to put any kind of ceiling panel that you like. Um, and this is Ceratex fabric. So just this, <laughs> it took two rolls of Ceratex to do this whole thing, which was about $700. 
Uh, it is a very efficient insulation material that's often used for NASA's uh, jet propulsions, for kilns. Um, so that's going to give a really good factor and there's still room for some more insulation uh, between the ceiling panel and the ceiling. So there is that. Um, and I also framed and insulated the walls. Um, I used two by twos and I attached them to all the metal ribs. They are really solid. Um, you can rock the bus just by moving them. And let's see, that is denim insulation. It's recycled cotton denim. It has an R value of 13, which is even higher than fiberglass and it's uh, environmentally friendly and not toxic, um, especially with the smart vapor barrier that I put over it, which is a breathable vapor barrier for any, any climate. It has these micro pores in them, allows uh, it to breathe so it will never mold. Also, the insulation is treated with uh, sodium benzoate, which is a mold resistant and fire retardant substance that's also non-toxic. So the walls are ready uh, to put power outlets and panel to your desire. And the subfloor, subfloor alone was like $700 in lumber and hardware. Um, it's no OSB. This is the good real deal stuff right here. High grade plywood, tongue and groove, 5 eighths inch thick, brand new um, with an inch thick uh, Pink Panther insulation under it. And I completely refurbished, resurfaced, de-rusted, sealed, and painted the bare metal under the original floor. So there's absolutely no leaks. And I uh, sunk them in there with some of the same original screws that were in there, but I got longer ones. And that's biting in. There's no wobbles. This is a solid floor. I framed in the fender wells. Uh, so they're ready to build off of. And last but not least, my most uh, prized accomplishment, these skylights. Oh, so these took me, oh, I don't know how many hours, but um, anyway, they are amazing. I used polycarbonate instead of acrylic plexiglass so it will never shatter or crack um, I put some five latches on each one so you just turn the latches bop 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 and then it opens and I use some uh, weather strips and polyurethane and sealed it all around I custom cut and fabricated the housing and the framing out of recycled uh, Trex board, which is this really durable um, building material that is more resilient than wood. There's absolutely no leaks in this, and these bolts uh, hold 150 pounds each, and it goes through the entire thing. And uh, actually, I notched it out and put the framing over the back of the nut so they're secure with, um, they can hold a thousand pounds. You can hang, hang off of these things, put ladders to them, uh, and they're good to go. So, yep, there's that. So I also just spent about 40 hours uh, hand scrubbing with 4 ot steel wool all of the glass. There was, there was a, quite a bit of uh, water stain from the years. And now it's super clear. Um, and I tinted the windows as well. Uh, also, um, I took out most of the windows and rebutyled them and resealed them. There are no leaks in any of the windows. Uh, they all function. There's no broken panels or anything like that. So those are ready and good to go. So also included with the bus are these two sequoia slabs that are worth almost a thousand dollars together. Um, I thought they would make a nice kitchen table and a work table, 
They just need to be planed and sanded. Got that live edge on them. Beautiful. Another thing I wanted to show is uh, I got a bunch of carpet that I've been laying down to protect the subfloor while I was building because uh, it it's brand new and I didn't want to get it all dirty. Um, so that comes with it. And underneath it, I have the extra stainless steel cold rolled sheets uh, that I used for the window deletes. And there's qu quite a bit left uh, if you want to delete some more windows or I was thinking of using it for a pan for the uh, water tank uh, for odd and end things. So that's another little bonus. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the virtual tour. Uh, that's about everything that I can think of. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, email, phone call, text message. Um, I'll try to be as responsive as I can and uh, hope to hear from you if you're interested. All right, have a good one.